In this video, let's take a look at the uniform distribution. The uniform distribution is a discrete distribution and is typically characterized by a range of values with a high and a low value and everything in between has the same probability. So let's take a look at an example. In this example, we're looking at the number of tickets that are purchased by an, in an individual for a music festival. We're going to assume it's uniformly distributed and it ranges from two to eight, which means anyone calling up and purchasing tickets or going online and purchasing tickets has an equal probability of purchasing two tickets, three tickets, four tickets, and so on up to eight tickets. It's the same probability. We can use that information then to calculate the mean and the standard deviation for those values. With this template, we're going to go through and set it up in a way that we can change our A and B values and it will automatically calculate our mean and our standard deviation for us. The value of A is always our minimum value. And in this case, it's two and our B value is the maximum value in this range. And so that is eight. Using our formulas, then we can calculate our mean and our standard deviation. I've gone ahead and added these formulas in here, and I'm just going to change the color of the font so you can see those appear. For the mean, we're calculating the average by taking our minimum value of two plus our maximum value of eight and dividing by two. So two plus eight is 10 divided by two is five. For our standard deviation, this formula is a little bit longer, which is why I've changed the font color so I, I don't make a mistake typing. To get our standard deviation, we're taking our maximum value, in this case eight, minus our minimum value, in this case two, plus one, we're squaring that value, subtracting one, dividing our numerator by 12, 12 is always a constant, and then taking the square root of all of those values. So when you set up this function, you'll get a value of two for your standard deviation. As you're creating this template, if you are not getting the value of two, always go back and double check your number of parentheses because this is typically where most people will make a mistake because it's an easy mistake to make as you're adding in multiple calculations within an overall calculation. So this tells us on average, people will, are gonna buy five tickets. Um, with a standard deviation of two. Graphically, we can look at this as well, and we can set up our PDF for the probability of the number of tickets. And in this case, because we know our uniform distribution is between two tickets and eight tickets, and we have the same probability of buying any number of those tickets, then our probability of somebody buying two tickets is one seventh, since there's seven different numbers within these. And we have the same probability for anywhere from two tickets to eight tickets. So our PDF shows us the probability for each individual number of tickets possible. Our CDF is a cumulative. So here we're looking at the probability of someone buying two tickets was one seventh or 0.143. The probability of two or three tickets then is the addition of these. So our CDF adds in the probability before that. So our probability of buying four tickets is a probability of buying two, three, or four. So it's a cumulative adding everything up to that point, which is why when we get to our B value, our maximum value of eight, we're adding everything up before that 
So our probability should be one. So our last number in our CDF should be one or 100%. And again, this is where it's useful as we're doing our calculations to look at the spread of the data and to make sure it, it makes sense in terms of how our data falls. And in this case, five is falling right in the middle. So it makes sense that it is our average and we have anywhere from two to eight, which also makes sense why our variation, our standard deviation measure is fairly wide as well too.